In our last video we made a really good looking video with some audio. We put some fade in and fade out and created, in my opinion, a really good looking film. What we're going to do today is look at titles and other special effects. And to do that we need to click on the VFX button. Normally when you click on the VFX button you get the color panel, which is what Lightworks is famous for. We're not going to use that today. What we're going to do is click over here and in the category we are going to go to text. And what we're going to do is let me rewind that film right back to the beginning. What I want to do is just put the title something like Earth on the middle of that film there. So what I'm going to do is choose quite a nice looking text which is going to be something like this. Now if you want to just very quickly see what that text will look like just double click it and you'll see it there. You, you notice that it's actually put the effect on your movie clip so I'm just going to undo that. Let me go back there. Let's have a look at something like this. Yeah, that's more like it. I just want to put some text in the middle of there. So what I'm going to do is now edit that text. And what I've got here is where it says personal place. I would just like to write the word earth and delete the thing underneath, which I don't need. Let's just collapse that in. We seem to have something called a gradient fill. Let's have a look. No, we're not really going to mess around with that. That looks quite nice, but we're not going to mess around with that. What we'll do is we'll go up to the color correction take that away so that we can just see what we're doing here. There you go. So what we've got is the earth. Let's just make the size of that bigger. That's quite nice. I don't really like Arial as a font for this. So let's just go through my fonts and find something that might be a little bit more suitable. That's actually quite nice. There. Do we want to make it italic? No. Do we want it to be like so? There you go. And that's basically the title that we're going to have. Let's have a look. And there we are. Now it lasts for the whole clip, so how do we take it so that it doesn't last the whole clip? What we are going to do is go to our edit button, and you can see that we have still those text effects there. We're going to right click, and we're going to unfold where it says effects. We're going to unfold. What that does is it brings up all of the text for the length that it's there for. Now following the rules that we've discussed before, all I have to do is disable my video and my video, basically move that text to about half of the movie and it will go something like that and then disappear. Now let's go a little bit further. Let's go back to our VFX. Let's make that a little bit nicer. So what we're going to do is within that heading, we're going to go to the effects button there and let's choose a fade in. I'm going to make the fade quite long. I'm going to make it around two seconds and a faster fade out of about one second. So let's see how that works. Which looks quite good. And it will kind of disappear as well. Let's go back to our edit button and see what that actually looks like. So if you now play this, you can see we have the fade in of the titles background picture coming in and the fade out of the title as well. It's really quite nice. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Now what happens if you want a title on a black screen in the middle or somewhere else in the video? Now this is one of the weaknesses of Lightworks. Uh, most video editing software lets you move clips around wherever you want them and even insert black screens and Lightworks doesn't do that but we can cheat a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just momentarily remove this sequence like so and go back to our VFX and yet we can double check we don't have any titles anymore. So what I want to do is put the title Earth on the screen but on a black screen before anything starts. So how do we do this? So what we need is a smallish clip. Let's just double click that. Yeah, let's just do a quick in and out. doesn't have to be so long, so I, I just have to put that there. What I have to do is make sure that my playhead, my red line, is all the way at the start. And then what I'm going to do is rather than replace, I'm going to insert a clip. And what that's going to do is push everything out a little bit, including you know the audio that's there. Now what you can see is that this small clip has pushed everything of my movie to the right. That's exactly what I wanted. Because now what I'm going to do is just pick that up and throw it away, leaving me with a black space. 
just there. And the audio I'm going to leave blank as well. Let's just close down this clip, go back to our VFX. You can see that I've got a black space. I'm just going to add exactly the same to there now. And you can see that it's already unfolded. That's fine because I actually want to see what's going on. And again, I'm just going to replace, delete. I won't bother with the font right now. And we can also put in our effects of fading in and fading out. And what this movie will now look like is this. So that's a different way to approach a title on a black space. You can also, for example, if uh, that was the style of your movie, do the same thing in between. But now beware, because you're going to be editing the audio as well as the video. So let's say we wanted to do a similar title in the middle. So what we can do is move the playhead to let's say there, so the start of the dragonfly. Again, I'm just going to take a small clip, double click it, and I'm going to do an insert. And you can see that it cuts right through the audio. This is not what we want. Let's undo that, disable the audio, and insert just the video. You can see that the video is pushed forward. What I'm going to do now is pick up that clip and move it away. So I've been left with a black space over here. It's exactly what I want. Go back to the VFX. What I'm going to do is just pick up some text and I'm going to put it in that black space I just created. Again, edit what you need to, do whatever you have to, put in your effects of fade. Now what will happen is this, you will see that as the movie goes on, let me just switch on the audio so you know that it didn't get ruined. So what will happen now is the movie will play and where you want a black space to occur, you get a black space. Now, of course, the same rules apply here. So anytime you put in a text overlay on top of a clip, it will simply create that. We can then unfold, disable, and we can go back to our edit button and we can now control the length of our text overlay. So it's a little bit complicated and I know other programs do it better, but once you're used to the Lightworks way, it only takes a few seconds more.